God bless you, Rome. I'd like to share with you today the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are many of people in this world that will call themselves Christian, but not everybody is born again, including these people here right now. They stand here today to try to preach to you a completely different gospel, something that is not in the Bible. You see, the Bible teaches us that man is dead in their trespasses and sin. And in order for them to receive the kingdom of God, then they have to be born again. And being born again is not about a work that we do. The Roman Catholic Church will teach people that in order for you to be born again, you have to be baptized to wash away an original sin. But this is not from God. The way in which you get saved is to believe in Jesus Christ. It is to trust in him and him alone for the forgiveness of all of your sin. Every human being in this world, it doesn't matter where you're from, has sinned against the holy God. Every single one of us, all, all like sheep, have gone astray. When we stand before God on the day of our judgment, if you have not been born again of the Holy Spirit, if you're not clothed in Jesus Christ when you die, if your sin is not covered by his blood, you will go to hell. It is a very real place. And you have many religions in this world that will teach you their own way of salvation. They all claim to have the truth, but they don't. These people here teach you a false Jesus. They teach that Jesus is the Archangel Michael, but he's not. He is God in the flesh. And he came to save his people from their sin. When Adam sinned in the garden, it was just one sin that separated him from God. And every human being in this world has sinned against the Holy God. Whether you tell lies, have pride, idolatry, lust, adultery, every sin that you have ever committed is in the sight of a Holy God and it offends him. And if Adam was kicked out of the Garden of Eden for sinning just one time against God, why do people think that somehow they can get to heaven by being a good person? If you want to receive the kingdom of God, then you have to be born again. And being born again is not joining some cult or some religion in the hope that you can somehow appease the wrath of God. You have to put your complete trust in the Lord Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of all of your sin. You have to believe that Jesus is Lord that he died on that cross for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day. That if you believe this in your heart, you confess this with your mouth, he will save you. Jesus Christ is alive and he is not in the Catholic Church and he is not a Jehovah's Witness either. He is the head of his church and he is seated right now at the right hand of the Father. This is not just a nice story that you hear at Christmas time and Easter time and then you get on with your life every other day of the year. No, Jesus Christ is God and he's coming back soon. And when he does, he's coming to judge the living and the dead. And everything you have ever done, he's going to hold you accountable for it. And you have no hope of redemption unless you believe in him for the forgiveness of sin. Every human being in this world is dead in their sin. Religion is a man-made concept. Every religion in the world teaches you the same thing. You just have to join in with their church, be a good person and do what they tell you. But this is not of God. What you need to do if you want to receive salvation is you need to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, the real one, the God of the Bible, the one revealed to us in the scriptures, the one that came down from heaven 2,000 years ago so that he could reconcile sinners back to God. When Adam sinned in the garden, death entered into the world. And we all like sheep have went astray each to their own way. Death entered the world when Adam sinned and we are all born spiritually, we are born dead. And so we have to be born again of the Holy Spirit if we want to receive the kingdom of God. And this comes through faith in Jesus and not through their works. Religion is man-made. They stand here today to make people a child of hell. 
You can't be saved by joining in a religion or joining a cult or joining the Catholic Church and doing the sacraments. All of this denies the Je that Jesus Christ is Lord and that he is the only way in which to be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life and no man comes to the Father but by me. If you want to receive the kingdom of God and you have to turn to Jesus today and put your faith in him, sin is not worth spending an eternity in hell. For five minutes of pleasure, you could spend an eternity in the lake of fire. People want their best life now. You're so focused on today that you forget about where you're going to end up when you die. You don't realize that God is looking at everything you do. Man does not understand their own sinfulness. They don't realize their own depravity. That they are separated from God because of their sin. And that there is no peace for the wicked. The Bible says that those that believe in Jesus is not condemned. But those that don't believe in him are condemned already. And the wrath of God abides on you. You don't have all the time in the world. If you die in your sin, you will go to hell. And God is calling all men everywhere to repent. Jesus said that he will come back. And he said that in the days leading up to his return, there would be famines, earthquakes, pestilences. He said the love of many will grow cold. People will be lovers of themselves instead of lovers of God. They won't even care about their sin. They won't even realize that they're doing anything wrong. You might think that you're not hurting anybody with the way in which you live your life, but you are, you're hurting God. You are dead in sin and you need to be born again of the Holy Spirit. And the way in which you do this is through faith in Jesus Christ. This is not a work that we do on our own. This is a work of God that he does in us. Being born again is a supernatural work of God that takes place in a person's heart once they come to believe in Jesus. It is by believing that Jesus is Lord that he died on that cross for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day. That if you believe this in your heart, you confess this with your mouth, he will save you. I bet many of you are here today on, on holiday and you're looking to have a good time. But once you've had that good time, you'll be looking again for the next feel good factor, something else to satisfy your flesh. But this is not gonna help you. It might make you feel good for a moment, but it's going to cost you a lifetime in hell because of your sin. And Jesus Christ wants to save you today. You can have salvation, forgiveness of sin, reconciliation with God, and you can experience what that love, that peace, and that joy feels like because it will come from the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Jesus is alive. He is coming back soon. And when he does, if you are not saved by his shed blood, you will go to hell. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth, you know, you tell a lie, you think you're not hurting anyone, but the Bible says that the people that are being lied to, the one telling the lies hates the person they're lying to. So the devil is the father of lies. Is that your master? You follow after Satan? The things of this world, evil. God wants to save you today, but in order for him to do that, you have to believe in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of all your sin. This is not about joining a religion, joining the Catholic Church, or joining the Jehovah's Witnesses, which is a cult. This is about turning to the living God today, trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of all of your sin and he will cleanse you of all unrighteousness. When he takes away your sin, he imputes his perfect righteousness to you so that you're now made right with God, not because of what you do, but because of what Jesus has done for you. Jesus is alive and he is seated right now at the right hand of the Father and he's going to come again to judge the living and the dead. And you're not going to find him in the Catholic Church. And you're not going to be made right with God through the sacraments and saying penance and praying to Mary, which is idolatry, by the way. But you need to turn to Jesus today. 
You need to put your faith in him for the forgiveness of sin. Jesus Christ is alive. He doesn't need another man to do his work for him. He, through the power of the Spirit, is working for his people today. This is why I stand here, because of the grace of God and the Holy Spirit in me. Once you come to believe in Jesus for the forgiveness of sin, he takes away your stony heart. He gives you a heart of flesh and he puts the Holy Spirit in you and he reconciles you back to God. And you have peace with God through faith in Jesus, knowing that every sin you have ever committed has been forgiven and that he has washed you clean in his blood. It's not about religion. It's about having a relationship with the Almighty, about knowing God personally. There ain't no relationship in this world that you could ever compare to that which comes from knowing Jesus Christ. Having a relationship with Him, the Almighty God, the Creator of the universe, is worth a relationship with more than every human in this world combined. Jesus Christ is the best thing that will ever happen to you. But he will be the worst thing if you don't turn to him because he has no choice but to judge you for your sin and sentence you to hell because he is a righteous God. He is a holy God and he cannot acquit the guilty. If a judge of this land was to acquit somebody for something that they've done wrong, you would think that that judge was unjust. How much more would the God of the universe do right and bring justice on those that are ungodly? He is going to judge you for your sin, but he's also giving you a way out. Jesus is the best thing to ever happen to anybody, but he will be the one to send you to hell on the day of your judgment if you don't trust in him today for the forgiveness of sin. If you die in your sin, you will go to hell and you will be judged for the things that you do that is wrong. There you go, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Jesus Christ is alive and he is coming back soon. And if you die in your sin, you will go to hell. If you want to receive the kingdom of God, then you have to be born again. And being born again is a supernatural work of God. And he takes your stony heart, he gives you a heart of flesh, and he puts his Holy Spirit within you. And he will reconcile you back to God. To not fear God, to not walk in the fear of God is foolishness to man. God is holy. And when Adam sinned in the garden, it was just one sin. One sin and he had to leave the garden of Eden. How many times a day do you sin against God? We don't even realize how sinful we are. And the wrath of God abides on you unless you repent and believe the gospel and turn to Jesus Christ today for the forgiveness of sin. Let him change your heart. Let him give you a new heart and put his Holy Spirit within you. Let him cleanse you of all your sin and reconcile you back to God through faith in himself. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by him. If you want to receive the kingdom of God, then you have to be born again. You have to believe that Jesus is Lord, that he died on the cross for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day. If you believe this in your heart and confess this with your mouth, he will save you. God bless you.